And launch of the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket as NASA turns to the private sector to resupply the International Space Station. SpaceX hopes this morning's successful launch will push private enterprise deeper into space as a for-profit marketplace. NASA retired its shuttle fleet last year, and the Obama administration wants private aerospace companies to provide basic transportation to get astronauts into orbit. In a 2010 test flight, SpaceX launched a capsule into orbit and retrieved it, the first time a private company had achieved that feat. And today's mission will be another first, a commercial spacecraft flying all the way to the International Space Station. On Friday, the Dragon capsule will stop within 30 feet of the station, each of them moving 17,000 miles per hour in low Earth orbit. That's five miles a second. The station's robotic arm will grab the capsule, dock it, and the station's crew will unload its supplies. Charles Bolden is NASA's administrator. And while there's a lot of work ahead to successfully complete this mission, we're certainly off to a good start. In this new space race, a handful of companies are competing to build what amounts to a rental car to the space station. NASA will narrow down the competitors to one or two this summer. At its factory near Los Angeles, NASA and SpaceX have already invested more than $1 billion in the project. Elon Musk, a billionaire entrepreneur, founded SpaceX. People had uh, legitimate concerns because there is no real, there's no precedent for what we're doing here. We're really at the dawn of a new era of space exploration and one where there's a much bigger role for uh, commercial space companies. SpaceX hopes to launch its first manned test flight by 2015. But Scott, NASA says based on current budgets, the earliest it would be able to certify the private spacecraft is safe to fly astronauts would be 2017. Mark, thanks very much.